Is it rolling? No. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Then go. <laughs> right, so I can just have you guys just state your names for the camera for me real quick. Uh, Dave Willis. Jim Fortier. Um, and we're here right now uh, talking about the great show Squidbillies coming back for its eighth season on September 21st. So, why squids? <laughs> why not? That's a good point. It's a really good point. Uh, yeah, there's so many cartoons about humans, and you're like, why don't you just get a camera and shoot them? You know? <laughs> I mean, did you did you say when you watched the Care Bears? And I know that you did. Uh, why bears? Actually, why not just caring, loving babies? <laughs> in my opinion, back when I was a kid, it was the Muppets. I'm like, why are they bears? Why aren't they Muppets? But <laughs> uh, so I've seen the episode coming up. That's going to air on the th 21st. Mm -hmm. Did you, when making it, did you feel like this might anger some people? Never think about that. <laughs> yeah. No. And I don't know who it would, I mean, I, I wonder who it would anger. The right people, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> bear, bear lovers. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's, that's true. Right. <laughs> the bear community. That's true. Although the bear ends up coming out on top. So in a way, we're, Both times. we're championing uh, bears everywhere. <laughs> uh, no, re really though, no, I'd, I'd say we never think about somebody being... Offended? Yeah, because I think that what that episode does is just right, you know? Yeah. I think what it's saying is just right, and if you're upset by... What a cartoon squid says. <laughs> then you have a lot more problems than we can help you with, <laughs> right? So where do, you, where do you guys pull your ideas for? I mean, your show, it, it's amazing, it's great. I mean, I know I'm a fan of it. My sister's an even bigger fan than I am of your guys' show. I think she just loves just the, the sarcastic wit and just <laughs> in-your-face attitude. But where do you guys pull your ideas for your episodes? We sit down in a room together and talk about football for about 10 minutes and complain about our wives for another 10. Then we take a break. Then we come back and realize no, we have two we days. No, we talk to... about how great our wives are. Of course are. we do. Yeah, thank that you. was I a was, joke. I was about to say, this will go out. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we just pull it from what's around. You know, we pull it from, sometimes it's a topical thing like the episode you saw where you just like early would be so incensed by gay marriage that he would be the guy who says, what's next if we allow that? What's next? You know, is someone going to marry a paint can? Then, of course, he's challenged to put his money where his mouth is and then it just spins out of control. And... It's sort of, he gets his comeuppance, I guess, you know, uh, but you have to tune in September 21st to find out what that means. Um, but yeah, it's just, sometimes it's something like that where a statement maybe is being made or a position is being taken, but other times it's just a bunch of dumb squids doing stupid things, making bad decisions and suffering the consequences. Having bad family relationships, making all the wrong choices. I mean, we make the show in the South, you know, we live in the South, we love the South. We also think there's a lot of crazy, stupid stuff that goes on in the South, and it's fun to bring some of that into it, you know. I mean, they just passed a law recently where you can bring a gun anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> all the school, all the, uh, all the things that are going on in this country and in the South, in Georgia, you could just pack a sidearm and just go anywhere. So I can go into the edit suite and go... Go ahead and tighten up that <laughs> a few frames, you know, it's like, I don't know, stuff like that, stuff like as that As long as it's on safety, you know. You yes. Know, I don't think Georgia's a uh, stand your ground state, right? <laughs> uh, no, your ground, right? no, no, you don't have to have any excuse. Oh, well, that's even there. better. That's just even let better. it go. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, there's, there's crazy, you know, the South's a crazy place, you know, and, and it's fun to, it's fun to bring that into the show, you know, mm -hmm. comment, it's what makes it different. You don't know where Springfield is. You know where this show is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you, you bring up The Simpsons, and you brought up uh, Care Bears. So what, what were your major influences when you started Simpsons and Care Bears? There you have them. There you have them. That was really just all. It's like, I want to make a show about Care Bears and Simpsons and hillbillies. <laughs> I, I, I think any uh, person in comedy and probably... Um, and most specifically, most specifically, animation would be pretty hard. I mean, Simpsons cast such a huge shadow, you know, such a huge influence for, for. Uh, I think we're comedy guys, though. I think we initially, I think, making cartoons is sort of a way of sort of being able to, to, be.
be funny for a career and not have the pressure of having to be in front and center. <laughs> you know, you can sit there and make it for a long period of time and then just put it out there. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, influences, me. it's, it's, it varies so much, but there are a lot of common ones I think that we would have. You know, we, we both grew up, I think, appreciating Steve Martin and the early Saturday Night Live stuff and Monty Python stuff. And it's like, you know, it's sometimes when you ask that question, someone would ask that question and the names you list are all the ones you would hope that somebody would say if they have your same sense of humor. Mr. Um, Show, uh, Liquid Television, you yeah. know, that's, that was sort of a very Any Mike Judge thing ever touch for, us, um, for me. And, yeah, so, it's, it's uh, animation comedy, exactly what you're saying. I mean, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast was around. Mm -hmm. Dave was uh, there about a year and a half before I came to the network, but, um, so it was sort of that was the thing to do comedy with, and we were lucky enough to be hired on to work on that show, and it just sort of that snowball. We we both love doing animation, but um, the primary thing is is humorous stuff. Yeah. Now my my new favorite episode has got to be the second episode that's airing this season about the the workman comp accidents. Oh, yeah. What are your guys' favorite episodes from the show? Oh jeez. I really like, there's two of them this season that I really like. I like the one where Early marries the, the paint can and then eventually turns, then marries a grizzly bear. Spoiler uh, alerts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first four minutes of the show. <laughs> uh, I, I, but I also like the one where they're, uh, they're sort of talking back, uh, back when they integrated Dougal County Schools to include aquatic life. <laughs> they had integrated blacks and whites like a full two decades earlier, but then, then they thought longer. it was they thought it was a good idea to allow squids to go to public school. Mm -hmm. I thought that was uh, that one's really great, and I love any episode where Rusty uh, Rusty's involved with Tammy is on again, off again, baby mama. Baby mama. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, we, we are approaching 100 episodes, so that's a tougher question, you know, because <laughs> the show has evolved, too, opinions. and how just how we make it and how, how we write the characters and uh, sort of the topics that we cover. So, you know, there's probably a good answer for each season along the way. But um, I just generally think we're doing the best we can to keep the level of the show up. <laughs> and, um, I like, I think we're still doing good shows. I think these new ones, there's, I mean... I don't feel like there's a dog in the bunch, and sometimes you have to be honest with yourself and say, well, you have ten, and there's maybe eight of them that, that we'd stand behind, you know, just because of how things turn out. You eventually have to put it out there. I mean, I think they're all, they're, they're all worthy, but I um, feel pretty good about all of them, even the tenth one that we haven't written yet for this season. The, uh, I'm great about that one. That dismemberment policy one, the germ of that idea was, uh, I worked at a, a fishery in, in Alaska when I was 22, and there were guys that were discussing, like, if you could loot, if you could cut your pinky off, like, you could get, like, 20 grand from the insurance. I was like, what a dire, what a dire, grim conversation. It's not going to float you very long. It's not going to float you. It's not like hitting the lottery. I don't know. I mean, they were living in tents in the woods, so. Well, how often are you using 20 grand? Yeah, I mean, come on. Like, they're barely even there anymore. Just, just take it off from here and you don't have to worry about even the stuff. That was the conversation, <laughs> you know. Um, so it just always sort of seemed like a good idea for an episode. If you could grow them back, you'd be chopping them off left and right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so so you do feel like you pull some of the episodes from, like, real life and your experiences with other people out there? Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So you guys have been on the air now for, for I mean, how many years has it been? Eight? I know it's eight seasons, but have there been any, like, mid-season? It's 2005 is when we first were on the air, so, yeah. Yeah, about a little, like nine yeah, years, basically. Nearly 100 episodes, yeah. Wow. So do you feel like you've, you've really kind of left your mark on the animation world? I mean, we got shows like Mr. Pickles coming out and BoJack Horseman, where you kind of just have this now off-the-wall concepts, and everything is, you know, anamorphic kind of humans running around. Do you feel like you've you've kind of like put your finger onto the the feel and the genre? But that was, I mean, you know, I mean, the, we grew up with Hanna Barbera, and that was, you know, talking animals everywhere. You know, it's just a cartoon. I, I, I that's just how it's always sort of been. It's a, I guess it's a it's a hurdle for some people to understand why the squids live in a human world. And you just sort of <laughs> like. 
<laughs> they're just characters. Yeah, they're just yeah. characters there. I don't. You know, I think a question, the answer to a question like that, is almost hard for us to be the one to say. You know, because mm -hmm. we still feel like we go to work every day having to prove that we can make a good show that people want to watch. Well, you're so, succeeding. So thank if you, you didn't know that. But I mean, it's the truth, and uh, you know, we just we work in we live in Atlanta. We have yards we have to trim and mow, and you know what I mean. It's like it's just a very regular existence out there, and so I go to work every day feeling like I nothing much is different. I don't know that I put any kind of stamp on anything. I think that's for somebody else to decide. But you know, Space Ghost certainly made a mark. Um, we we think we have more tattoos per capita than any our fans our have fans. more show based tattoos. Homemade tattoos. And almost any other <laughs> with show. pens or like, most, like actual most tattoos. Most homemade tattoos oh. per capita. Oh. <laughs> most homemade tattoos made in prison per capita <laughs> than any you, other show. It's like prison on TV. tattoos, not just yes. like homemade. It's, you know yeah. what? You could debate the quality, but it doesn't matter. It's the numbers we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. That's a good they're number. usually off model because if they're making a tattoo on themselves, they have to it's figure so, it out yes. upside down. Yeah, like so, a mirror, you know, yeah, like working so it out. Weird. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, you don't want to have to give Jim Bob like 50 cigarettes to basically do the job right. I mean, yeah, let's be yeah, honest, those yeah. are currency, you know what I'm right. saying. Yeah. So, now, Adult Swim has been, you know, really great at the 15-minute episodes. Do you guys feel like your show is perfect in 15-minute 15 15 minute increments, or did you do you want more? Do you feel like you need more? Do you feel like it's just right? I feel like the, it's the way the show was conceived, you know, and it's sort of, that's how it's been all the time, and we've learned how to tell a story in that amount of time, um, usually ending with an explosion, you just crash right out of there whenever it's time. But no, I think, uh, my personal opinion is it, it is enough, and uh, I think it's just right for what this is. We've, we've done a couple extended episodes, and they played fine, you know, we did a musical one year that uh, I think is still one of the better things we've done in the series, and uh, real interesting, but... Feels right. Feels right for eleven minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, a half an hour is. Uh, I don't want to watch a half an hour of anything unless it's just awesome. Unless it's just blindingly great, you know. I think people are going to start wanting to watch seven-minute shows, you know. Unless it's really great, I think a half an hour is almost like a dinosaur from another time, mm -hmm. and I think. So you're saying our show is not really. Great. I'm saying our show so is better, perfect. It's better that we don't. I'm saying they should have made House 11 minutes. It would have been a better show. All it would just end with him not being He immediately got there and was like, oh, I know what that is. That's uh, He's got stomach cancer from a uh, right. from some bu like, bug like in South America. Roll credits. Let's pull it out. Roll credits. <laughs> yeah. like your, it's like your doctor does uh, when you see him. It's just, okay, how you doing? And then he's backing out the door as you're going, but I've got this thing on my, it's, it's, you'll be fine. Talk to the nurse. Well, how, how are you going to do the show without like the 45 minutes of waiting in the office with no one there? <laughs> I'm, do I'm dogging house. I've never seen it. But, you know, it's like... It's over, though. They're okay. <laughs> I know, yeah, they're not going to come after you. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I mean, the, the short shows are not... It's not... We, we started our career making short shows. We started on Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Mm -hmm. And that was back when it was, like, the only quarter-hour show on television. There's a whole block of this, and it works. It works for the viewer, and if they don't like it, there's some there's something else coming right around the corner after the commercial break, you know. And, <laughs> and you know, you don't you're not gonna sit down and watch a YouTube video that's half an hour. I don't think. Maybe, maybe you know. You, but you'll but don't watch. You, don't you look at when you click on it? Don't you look at the the length of it right away to see if it's and if it's over like there's a threshold there where it's, it's like when does the guy get hit in the nuts plus. like <laughs> fast forward in the first 10 seconds I'll, I'll basically be all like maybe I should check the health see how long this is yeah yeah, no, yeah completely Sweet. yeah 8 minutes and like the dog bites the guy in the nuts in like 6 minutes and 45 seconds so you just skip through all the talking <laughs> they put the little editor thing saying this is where the dog bites the guy right. yeah like right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so uh, do you guys have a favorite character on the show I really enjoy writing for the sheriff now, kind of, because our voiceover talent's just great. He's from Winder, Georgia, and he's just a real... Um, there's just something sort of simple and sweet about how he approaches it, and it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not like... Yeah. It's not just the classic trope of the inept lawman, but there's just like a, a sweetness and a naivete that, that isn't just... He's not just a boob. He's like a real, just likable embraceable character Patient. for me. He sees early as his friend, and he just will give him endless opportunities to, to fail him. And, and, and still, 
They're buddies. But he and he brings a re he brings a real there's just a relatable quality to how he does the lines and just he'll add little things here and there that just make perfect sense. And he's a southern guy, you know. He, he used to come into the he used to come into those reeds with four packs of Salem's and sit them down, you know, and wearing high school uh, football coach shorts, you know. And it's just <laughs> like he's like, yeah, he died in the wool, you know. Mm -hmm. You couldn't you couldn't teach a voiceover actor to you know another voiceover actor to do that character the way he does it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you another question. It's not so much about the show, but do you guys play board games? Board games. N name your favorite. Well, my favorites are probably like Munchkin from Steve Jackson, Flux from Liddy Lives. Wow. More the obscure, not so much like the Monopoly. Yeah. Sorry, these days. The world has changed. I don't I don't play a lot of board games. Do you? I played Life with my eight-year-old recently, and we <laughs> had a real long lesson about what a mortgage is. <laughs> <laughs> So now, now they're terrified that we're going to lose the house. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, my mom had pay, payday. It's the, the game of basically debt. <laughs> yeah. And I never asked for a thing in my childhood. It was just all like, <laughs> oh, the doctor bills are <laughs> phone bills like $150. I got I to gotta really just keep my head down. Yeah. How, how are you going to be able to pay for the lights and the car and the house and this little Debbie snack cake? <laughs> It's like, what's the point of investing? You have to go into debt. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you guys so much for yeah. your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. And uh, please keep making the show. It's great. Uh, all right. Thank we, you. We, yeah, we love the show. And my sister would kill me if you guys cancel it after I do this interview, so don't cancel it. Okay. Like, like five more. You can do five more seasons. So we right? shouldn't announce the thing on here, though? Oh, you're gonna, are you, it's not happening? If you want to announce anything that you don't, haven't told anyone well, yet, the we show's would canceled. love we, oh. we, We'll take this opportunity. <laughs> Sorry. Not yet. <laughs> awesome. Not Thank yet. you guys so much again. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.